Hello, my name is Anthony Dion. I'm here at Tech Tech, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a alignment um, on this 2003 Dodge Durango. So, first things first is we want to um, we want to get the vehicle lined up as straight as possible on the um, alignment rack. Uh, then you want to chalk your wheel so that it doesn't rock back and forth. You also want to make sure that the car is in neutral uh, when you do this. Okay, so after you get the car on the alignment rack, what you want to do is you want to come over to the screen and you want to make sure it's set up so that you can put the VIN number in the vehicle. And then this particular scanner has a, I mean this particular machine has a scanner so that you can scan the barcode for the VIN. So on this vehicle, uh, the barcode is in the door, which is also in some other vehicles cases. Sometimes it's on top of the windshield, uh, in, on the windshield in the dash. So you just scan it. Once you've scanned it, uh, what you want to do is you want to come over to the machine, make sure that uh, it has put in the VIN properly, and it has. Then you want to come over and you want to select what uh, type of drivetrain the car has. This is two-wheel drive. You press next. Now it's going to give you all the uh, specs from the map manufacturer and this vehicle cannot be adjusted in the rear uh, so that means that everything's set from the manufacturer in the rear. Uh, now we want to uh, put on the clamps onto the wheels. Okay so now we have the clamps uh, put on each wheel. You want to make sure that the clamps are sh the middle bar is straight up and down. Um, that goes for all the wheels. Uh, on all four, on all the sides, yeah. Um, then you want to come over to the machine and you're going to click OK. Okay, so now we're going to click OK on the screen now that we have the clamps hooked up. Um, what this is going to ask us now, it was, first it's going to read them. Now it's going to ask us to move the car back and forth. Um, and first we're going to need to remove the chocks from the back. And once we're done with this test, we will put them back. Okay, so what this test really does is it's measuring the tires themselves. So it sees uh, what the ride height the, the tires are um, for the vehicle. And as uh, the vehicles move back and forth, it will tell you where to stop and where to not. Um, and what this is doing, what this is, is just uh, the reading of the uh, tires themselves. Um, as you can tell, it's telling everything about them. Okay, so now that we've done the t that test, what it's going to ask you to do now is you're going to want to put the brake pedal uh, in there, so you get a device that applies the brake pedal, and then you want to pull the pins on the sliding plates, uh, and this one is for the rear sliding plates, but we don't have, in we cannot adjust the rear, so we don't want to mess with those, so we'll just leave those in, but we'll take them out, and what it's talking about is here. <laughs> Um, those pins right there and those here and we'll open up and we've already put in the brake pedal plier so okay so now what we'll be doing is what's called a caster swing uh, we'll have somebody go inside of the car and turn the steering wheel back and forth uh, until it hits the green spot which as it hits this green spot it will calibrate it then it will send us to another one and then another one and another one and then another one and the purpose of this test is so that it can measure the camper caster in tow uh, on the vehicle okay so after you've done the caster swing you want to make sure that you still have the brake pedal presser uh, hooked up afterwards and then you want to make sure that the steering wheel is held in place and that what that and that's what that device right there is You come over to the computer and it will ask if the wheel is in alignment. Now that you've uh, done that, you want to make sure that the wheel is centered, and that's what this is asking you if it is. Okay, so now you just want to click the check mark because it is, and this will tell you uh, how the car is. And the at the vehicle and this is telling camber caster and tow and it's basically saying that the only things that are in spec 
is the camber on this side and the uh, caster on this side. Everything else is out of spec. And what all these represent, this represents toe on both sides, this represents the caster on both sides, and then this represents the camber on both sides. Uh, and this is saying that we have the vehicle perfectly aligned. Okay, so in order to adjust the camber and caster on this vehicle, uh, there is two bolts. I don't know if the camera can catch it. Uh, yeah, so there are two bolts right here and one right there uh, that you loosen to adjust the camber and caster. You can br either bring the control arm forward, backwards to adjust the camber. Uh, you could um, just loosen up one and tilt it to adjust the camber and caster uh, by moving it like that. Or you can just uh, unbolt this one to adjust the camber and caster bringing the ball joint uh, forward and to the left as well bring it outward um, as well uh, but that's how you would adjust the camera and caster on this vehicle um, um, you can also adjust the uh, un loosen those bolts from underneath the hood um, there there will be a portion where you can see them underneath um, but uh, you would want to adjust your camber and caster before you adjust your toe uh, I also have a, a very amazing drawing of the upper control arm. Uh, this would be the ball joint, um, and this is the bar that can, bolts that you bolt the uh, control arm to, which that's what these represent, the bolts uh, to the control arm. Right here are those two bolts that I showed you, and uh, basically when you unbolt this one, uh, well, you don't unbolt it, you just loosen it so that you can move the control arm. You could, when you push it out, the control arm comes this way uh, and this way at the same time. Um, now, if you unbolted it, this this one, this it would still come out, but it also go this way as well. Um, or vice versa, if you were to unbolt this and push it in, the control arm would come in and it would also go forward as well. Um, adjusting both the camper and the caster at the same time. Okay, so adjusting the toe on a vehicle is pretty much the same all the way around. Uh, you have your outer tie rod and your inner tie rod that goes inside of the uh, boot right here and connects to the rack and pinion. Um, and how you wanna, how would you, how you would um, adjust it is you would loosen this bolt, kind of spin it back a little bit so you have some room to play. Uh, and according to what the uh, what you're reading on here, um, you would either turn this rod either forward or backwards to make your adjustments. And that's uh, both on this side and that side there, it's the same setup. Okay, so once you've adjusted your camber caster and toe, you want to come over to the computer and once you've just finally adjusted your toe, you want to make sure that it also did not change any of the other specs. So what you would do is you'd probably, uh, preferably, you would do a caster swing again, uh, see what it reads, and if uh, everything is good, you know, you can send the vehicle out. If not, uh, if you still need to make adjustments, uh, you go ahead and make your adjustments, you do your caster swing again, make sure everything is in the green, and you should be good to go.